Remain first of all, welcome to Stoke City. You've arrived on a season long loan from West Bromwich Albion. How does it feel to be here? And it's amazing uh, when I knew that a club of this stature and this ambition was interesting. It was an easy decision. And then speaking to the manager and um, his coaching staff um, reassured me that it was a good decision for me to come here. In some ways, though, was it difficult to leave West Brom? Because I know you're there, your club. Um, from a heart perspective, yeah. Um, the boys are top class. I've been with them for two years now, and obviously I was there as a kid. But from a footballing decision, I've got to get out and play games. Um, I don't feel at this level I'm a player that can be a big part player and it was just something that between myself and the manager there we agreed. When you look at the start to the season that the team have made, was that a, a factor in you coming here? Um, yeah, definitely. I think uh, this league, I think the start is massive. You can start building momentum and you start putting the foundations for what you want to achieve. And I think the, the start that Stoke have made has shown the direction that they want to get into. There's plenty of competition in the midfield role. Yeah. Um, is that a chance that excites you? Yeah, I think it's good for everybody involved. Um, the manager will have a headache. Um, keeping people in the team, you know you're going to have to fight for your place in the team, you're going to have to earn your shirt, which is good. And with all them things um, contributing to team performances, I'm sure results will follow it. In terms of your style of play, what can fans expect from you? Um, I like to get on the ball, I like to play, um, which again is a massive reason why I think there's a stigma that's linked to Stoke Football Club, but I think this manager is trying to eradicate that and I think the direction he's trying to go to suits my style because I like to get on the ball, I like to try and make things happen, get um, our dangerous people in dangerous areas. You're 29 now, do you feel as though you're in your prime of your career? Um, yeah, I'd like to think so, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but yeah. Um, Mentally, definitely, I'm hungry as I've ever been. Um, I feel fit, I feel ready, and I feel um, I've got another opportunity to play first team football, which is obviously a massive, massive thing for me. I think for the most part over the last five, six years, you've played 40 plus league games, so you're certainly someone that is ready and fit for the rigours of championship football. Yeah, um, I've been in this league a few years now, and like I said, my body's quite robust. Um, I've been fortunate in that sense that I've always, shall we say, played myself and kept myself in the team and I'm looking to do that again this season. In terms of fitness, where are you currently at with that? Um, in terms of fitness, I feel like I've got a good base. In terms of match fitness, I've been unfortunate to not play many games in pre-season. Um, so it's a case of building to where I wouldn't expect to come in and play 90 minutes every week straight away, but I spoke to the manager and he understands that also. You trained with the squad for the first time this morning. What did you make of the quality? And the quality is good. It's something that I've expected. I've obviously played against most of the players here before. Um, so, you know, you've got people like Joe Allen and Stephen Fletcher had great careers and um, they're still having good careers. So, I'm sure they will be the catalyst to set the standard for the rest of the boys. There's a possibility that you could be included tomorrow. Um, how much would you be looking forward to playing in the sports for the first time? Very much so, especially the home game. Uh, it makes it a lot easier. Um, and there should be a big crowd there. Obviously, like I said, the boys have started well this year, so I'm sure the fans are right behind them and it'll be good to get some minutes tomorrow.